Good day, everyone. Dr. James Markham here with another biblical prescription for life. Um, today, I want to share with you um, at least six things that personally I learned from the pandemic. Now that we reflect back, I recognize that unless you learn from the past, history has a tendency to repeat itself. Now, I know culture might repeat its same mistakes, but individually, I want us not to, I want us to learn from what's happened from the pandemic. But before I go through those six things that I learned personally, I want to share with you a text from another physician that was transitioning to evangelism. We think of Dr. Luke, who ministered to many, including Paul, brought these two lives together. In fact, these two wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. Um, Luke 12, 32, it says, Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Hold that with you as I talk about the six things that I've learned from the pandemic. Number one, and it doesn't go in order of importance, but I learned more than ever that free will is important. It's important to God. It's important to our culture. Autonomy is important to individuals. I learned that and it was emphasized even more during the pandemic. I knew this all along. In fact, it's so important to God that he let Adam and Eve make poor decisions. He let the evil one, the devil, make poor decisions. And in fact, throughout the Bible, God talking to us, he makes statements like, choose you this day whom you will serve. He doesn't make us choose him. He allows our free will. Very important. Anything that's not having free will involved, I have to question. The second thing I learned that during the pandemic and afterwards, that the status of our immune system, our own body's ability to fight off infections, different antigens, different stressors, no matter where it's coming from. Remember, even mental health affects our immune system. This, the status of our immune system is important. We want to prevent things that would damage our immune systems from getting in, whether it be anything that damages us, turns on the immune system, that includes thoughts, damaging words, all these things. We want to keep our immune system strong because it's constantly fighting. It's constantly adapting. We want to do things to enhance our immune system, whether that be exercise, good nutrition, rest, things like zinc and vitamin D. We want to enhance our immune system. And remember, our immune system also includes the way we think, whether we live in fear or in love. So I learned that the status of our immune system is very important. The third thing that I learned or was reinforced as a result of the pandemic is the value of being together. Socialization cannot be underestimated, especially in mental health. Remember, the Bible says, do not forsake gathering together. There's texts like, come let us worship, come let us reason. It's being together. And as we've seen, when we're not together, mental health goes south. And if the brain goes south, we downshift, we cause lots of problems. It's not a good thing. And I learned that it was even enhanced. We, in this digital world, in this social media world, we need each other. That's the third thing I learned as a result of the pandemic. The fourth, 
A pandemic crisis can change the world very, very quickly. And it changes it via many different mechanisms. The government and the government agencies all over the world. The world can change frequently via the power of the media, the power of medical responses, cultural responses at all levels. So things can happen in our world and can change very quickly. We must be aware of that and prepare for that. The fifth lesson that I learned from the pandemic is when we have a crisis in a life, when we have damage, it takes time for healing. Wounds take time for healing. Whether that wound be a lost loved one, isolation, the fears, anxieties, the depression, the lost jobs, the wounds from missed opportunities, the wounds from criticisms, the wounds from just losing your time. A crisis needs time for healing. And six, history will tend to repeat itself. There's been other things similar to pandemics in the past. We think about some of the responses we've had to viruses. I think about the HIV response. Well, those responses all had similar characteristics and history tends to repeat itself. And when we look for solutions to all of these problems, the solutions are not in this world. That's why we have biblical prescriptions. That's why I want to focus you again on Luke 12, verse 32. Do not fear, little flock. Fear and anxiety is not, of these, is not a good thing. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. God is our shepherd, and he will not let us lack for anything. He calls us himself your father, and that means his children. He knows what we need even before we know it and better than we know it, and he will take care of us. to give you the kingdom. If he gives you the kingdom, that means he is the king. He's the one that's all powerful. He's the one that we should worship in awe and reverence and who we should come to for the solutions to pandemics and our problems in life. With that, he gives us, he gives us the kingdom. He doesn't charge us for it. There's no price. There's nothing we can do for it. This is a gift that's given, the kingdom. And it's also to his pleasure to give you the kingdom. He wants to take care of us. That is why in the things I've learned from the pandemic and thinking about how history repeats itself, the real solution to all of this is Christ is the key to health. Christ is the solution. Lastly, I want to leave you with something beautiful to help you remember some of this by, that Christ is solution. I want to give you a visual right now where you can watch the sun rise or the sun set. This is a worshipful experience. It helps us see the might and authority of God. God gives us the solution to the next pandemic. That solution is in Christ. I want you to remember this text as you think about the sun rising and setting and as you worship today, do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. We have something very great to look forward to. I just wanted to share the things I learned from the pandemic with you. Many of you have learned things as well. Please share those below. Help the community grow. 
If you like it, give it a thumbs up, give it a share. I hope to be back soon with yet another biblical prescription for life.